Yes, mate. <laughs> He's in trouble already. That's a cool ship. Look at this little car ferry, sneaky little car ferry. So this is a town called Foy, which I've been calling Fowey for about a week. And it's absolutely stunning. I can't believe this is where we're starting. It might be the best thing we see all weekend. Jackson's setup's a little bit more serious than mine. He's going to be filming the documentary, directing it. I'm not breathing once I'm under, but I feel calm. Hey, hey, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Admiral. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Look at those little trees as well. They're not. They're not very normal. We then go round there and we head to Land's End. Again, we probably want to give that a wide berth because it's a headland, it's going to be tidal races. We then hit the Atlantic, so it could start getting choppier. As soon as you see that wind get to about 14 degrees, we can start sailing. Oi, Falmouth, the lizard, treacherous. Southernmost point in Britain, and then we get to Land's End. Nice. A little bit of a collision course with a little, uh, little boat. <laughs> but apparently this bit means that we're going to miss it by 0.7 of a mile in the end. It's very hard to predict. Looks like we're going to beat him, but we're not. He's going to go half a mile in front of us. Get them, Jackson. These guys are with us. Look, there's loads more. There's loads more. There's loads more. Hey, guys. <laughs> yes. Britain's wildest has begun. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. There's so many. Oh, guys. <laughs> we are literally at the southernmost point of Britain. I knew we were going to get it, Emily. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. I will, I'm never going to forget this moment. The birds are here, too. Stunning, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> These guys, they would just love it. And then we had one gang in here, and then another gang came from in front. I think they were common dolphins. Like, common dolphins. Yeah, so they had this limited white patch on, along their sides. Very social animals, very acrobatic. Mm. They love coming up to boats and riding the bow waves. Um, and I, I just feel so blessed that they came up to us yeah. and said hi. Yeah. Welcome. That's what we come for. That was amazing. And now, this is Lizard. We're going around the corner of the southernmost point of Britain. The tide is going to be with us. The wind is going to be with us up our back. Time to get the main sail up. This is just the jib, which is the small sail at the front. But then we need to get the main sail up, which is in this basket here. On the first video I made sailing, Andy and I didn't know how to put the main sail up. So we've come on somewhat in there. We've got some hope of doing it today. I think we had the bottle to put it up. No, you didn't know how to do it. Yeah, but it's also a bit nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So TVMR, topping lift. Oh, I found myself in deeper than I thought I could be calm. I'm not breathing once I'm under, but I feel calm. We're in the quicksand. Get that guy up. Hoist the mainsail. Devices we could understand. We're a bit flaccid on the front, nice and turgid on the back. I'm pretty sure I just heard Emily say she's becoming a YouTuber. Uh, you heard it here first. <laughs> That was 
far too exciting. Far, far, far too exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna be trying to make videos maybe twice a week throughout the course of this month and then a couple more when we're at COP tracking this journey. And uh, Paul, are you in the middle of saying? Do you wanna tell the guys now that they've seen a, a little taster for what's happening? Um, what's, what else is happening on this trip? Where else are we going? What's going on? We're gonna be starting in Cornwall, rescuing seals, looking at rehabilitation and release. Then going up into Wales, looking at seagrass and seaweed. Nice. We'll be listening to the sounds under the water. Go go! Important part of their life, what's happening under, under, the, under the waves. Heading up to the Isle of Man, across the Northern Island, looking at birds and bird colonies in the remote islands. Up eventually into Scotland, to the Isle of Man, where we're looking at basking sharks, seals, whales and dolphins, the critically endangered, world's largest state under the water. Eventually out past the Outer Hebrides to the Isle of St. Kilda, the edge of the world, um, as the <laughs> most remotest place we're going. And yes. back to COP26 in Alaska. Great work on the itinerary, both of you. Great stuff. Absolutely love it. So that is going to be ridiculous. This is just the beginning of a nuts, a nuts journey. It's been in our brains, the Zoom calls, the ideas, and slowly it's become more real. We couldn't feel more real than right now. Some of you will be able to come and join us on here as well. So. Give us a shout if you're interested in coming on the boat, if you want to make content, if you want to share some of these stories in your communities and to help us think a little bit more about what we can do at COP. We've written this letter, we've been thinking about what's important at COP, a million things get said, but what really matters? What should we really focus on? We're still mulling it around on the boat. We want to leave a bit of room to let nature inform us as well. So get involved in the conversation, come and help us, come and see some of these things. And let's see what's actually going on with the planet as it's changing through these dramatic times. Yeah, they're heading straight for the boat. Here's part two. Come to papa. Come to papa. Is there a baby? Oh, yeah, look, here he is. Here he is. Oh, man. You are ducking and diving, dodging and weaving. Oh, my Lord. We, we love you. We love you. Wow. I'm getting down, I'm getting down. Oh my god! Too exciting, eh? Too exciting! Too exciting! <laughs> Have I cut my nose? Oh yeah, I've cut my nose. As I <laughs> ah, got too excited. Hit my head, hit my nose on the wire. Oh well, first boat injury. It's just all a bit too much for me. I can't really cope. That's the third visitation from the angels we received. A few more at two o'clock, mate. A few more at two o'clock. That's not two o'clock. That's, That's two o'clock. Well, that, my friends, I believe to be Land's End. You can tell you're in Cornwall, the rock that changed it. Uh, Isle of Sky esque, you know. You have it in Brighton, eh? It's more chalk though. Yeah, not like that. I've not seen this on the whole south coast. Yeah. This is uh, West Coast stuff. Oh right, we're actually heading dead north. dead north for the first time ever, really. We've just had an absolute golden run today. What a difference a day makes to the weather. What a difference a day makes. So we do have to follow the course. Yeah. I've got it on my phone. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but this doesn't look real to me. This is so peaceful and serene I would just never believe that this look at these colors look at this is just like a watercolor workshop I would not believe that this is the UK in September at Land's End now heading north to Scotland Bonnie Scotland in the beautiful abyss sorry all you Scottish people take a look at that stick that in your pipe and smoke it.
dark it's probably eight o'clock beautiful sunset tonight stunning 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 and the triple dolphins has just i'm done stick a fork in me team's doing well really chuffed with where paul and jackson have got the itinerary with wales and northern ireland and isle of mole and st kilda's and back to glasgow it's looking really really good now we need to get some different faces from different communities to come and join us to come and see what's going on out here. Hopefully tomorrow we will get the boat from St Ives to Padstow. In two weekends time we will start the voyage across to Wales. We will be sailing for the month from 1st of October to the 1st of November where we hopefully, fingers crossed, will end up in Glasgow at COP. And then we will have this vat of experience of being out here, seeing and learning from Mother Nature herself and take that into the white boxes of the negotiation and influencing rooms of COP and get it to affect the conversations that people are having that affect the systems that change the world that we live in. Guys, it's good to be back. It's good to be making videos. Let me know what kind of stuff you want to see in the boat, on the water. Take care of yourselves and look after each other. I'll see you very, very soon. Oh, and let us know if you want to get on the boat.